Okay, welcome to part three uh, of this series. Um, in this part, what we're going to be doing is um, sort of finishing off the sort of final bit of our status page. Um, so the first thing we're going to do in, in this sort of part is check to make sure the fun the data we sort of tried to return from the function in the previous part is actually correct. So I'm just going to stick a var dump info under here, and we'll go back to our browser and see what it returns. So we'll hit reload. And as you can see, we've got an array of three keys. First one being the MOTD as a string, and it looks about right, which is good. Second one is players as an integer, which is good, and max players as an integer, which is also good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's worked. We've got all the information we need. So now we just need to sort of format it into a vaguely nice sort of looking page. So let's go back to our code, and we'll do that. So the first thing we'll do is just, well, remove this for one. And then we're going to use the server IP in the title of the website. So just here we can do a PHP echo server IP. And then we'll just have it say status. Status after that. And then we'll do the same down here, except we'll do it inside a H1 tag, as in a heading. Uh, I didn't do it properly. There we go. So we'll do PHP. Yeah php echo server ip so now you can see why we defined that um, server ip variable earlier because typing this over and over again would be a bit of a nightmare at the moment so then inside of here this big php block what we're going to do is check to see if the function we just created or just used returned true or false or not well if it returned false that means the server's offline so we're going to check to see if it returned false and if it, if it did we're going to show the offline sort of message so we'll just do a simple if info equals false and just here let's do um, echo um, we're going to be outputting each all of the information inside of a paragraph tag and we'll just say status uh, offline I don't know, you could do that in red or something if you wanted otherwise we're going to output three more paragraph tags, so we'll have three more echoes. First one, not ph, first one is going to contain status online, next one is going to contain the MOTD which is oops, just in the variable, so we'll just have it say MOTD, I think I had that in capitals before, it doesn't really matter, and then we have the variable, so info MOTD, which is just returned by the function, and then we want the oops, we want the closing paragraph tag, and then we want the closing quote, and one of those, and then finally we'll have the number of players, and then a slash, and then the number of slots. So let's just call this uh, I don't know players, and then we'll have info players followed by space slash space followed by info max players there we go and then we obviously need to quote quote close the p tag there we go so that is pretty much it really so if we just go back to our page again and hit f5 you can see now that we've got some slightly nicer looking information and if we just go back and click on a different server you'll see that this is different information and this is taken directly from the server itself. Um, something you should probably note is that if the server is offline, which I'll just demonstrate by making the IP invalid in the config file, so if we just go to the config file and I change C to, I don't know, oh mind you read it a weird, they have all the letters don't they? I don't know, let's, let's just change, let's just spell it wrong there, two F's. And we'll hit reload here, uh, will that work? Yes you can see that we get this error message up here now this is just part of how this works the connection has to time out to detect that the server isn't there however there is a way you can hide this message just so that it doesn't show up I mean, it, usually PHP error messages are the sign that you've done something wrong however in this case it is just literally how the way it works there's no way to get around that however you can see that it has actually worked because it says status offline just below it um, so it has returned false correctly so I'll just show you how to quickly hide the error message 
what you need to do is go to the function here and just at the start of the line or in fact you can do it here just add a at symbol like so and that will just hide that error message like that um, you can also set your error reporting level to zero um, but what if you're doing a bit of debugging that makes it a little bit awkward um, it's really not recommended to use this at symbol um, for some reason the way PHP handles this internally makes it quite slow I don't really know why that is but it does um, so if you can avoid it I would recommend going with the error reporting sort of level method but um, I mean, it's up to you ultimately it's not it's not gonna like kill the performance of your site it's just something to think about anyway that is pretty much it we've now got to the point where we started so yeah this is the final function we created and that is basically it so Thank you for watching, and yeah, come back for future tutorials.